Kurji's Games here. We're going to be testing the Munt emulator. It's it's actually a, a MIDI emulator for the uh, MT32 Roland uh, MIDI synthesizer. Uh, and we're going to use that with the uh, XM6 Sharp X68000 emulator. Yeah, a lot of numbers there. Uh, so um, what you want to do is go into your options after you install the uh, MUT driver and um, go to MIDI and make sure you select MT32 Synth Emulator. And then we want to load a game. But before we do that, uh, we want to make sure that uh, we enable the software keyboard. Uh, there are specific games on this emulator that won't enable MIDI by default. And in order to emulate it, you have to press this key. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you what key it is. It's this key right here next to the uh, help key. And what you wanna do is right click on it and that allows that key to be held down. Because basically, if you had a real sharp X68000, you would have to hold that key down when you power on your unit. So, uh, I have a, uh, a sassy hard drive image loaded. So, um, instead of loading floppies, I'll load it from the hard drive. So... Here we go. Power on. And you'll know right away. I mean, you, you'll see. You'll see on the um, the control unit interface here, you'll see that it's reading the MIDI tracks. So let's put this in full screen. Let's get you out of here. Let's make sure. Okay, status bar is gone. Move this off screen. Alright, let's see how this game looks. <laughs> effects are kind of loud on this game. But, uh... I'm like a kid again, wow, Jesus, I'm loving this.
you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using a Pro Controller 2. Music was always good on this game. Kid again. It's crazy.
movement is janky on that worm. Looks better on a Sega CD. intense man Eventually gonna lose. <laughs> All right, so let's try another game.
it's over here. <laughs> I don't think you need it for this game, but I'll try it anyway. Sometimes this emulator acts up. I don't know why it does this. It's like the arrow keys stop working and really weird. Sometimes I have to close it all the way out, open it back up. Yeah, now it's working. Weird. And you can see in this game, um, you could just turn the MIDI off if you want. So. <laughs>
shame they butchered this on the way. They took out all the parallel scrolls. Well, most of it anyway. Sounds way better than just effing. Thank you. 
cut me some slack. I'm rusty. <laughs> Sounds good, but none of these games are easy. Let's see what else we can screw around with.
this game is so freaking random. died. <laughs> that was brutal. Much tougher than the Genesis one. <laughs> Much tougher than the Genesis version. The game leaves you, you can't even talk afterwards. <laughs>
Yeah, I forgot. The other two games I played uh, also have intros like this. like a glitch. Recording. Not sure what happened there, but <laughs> I guess I'll press start this time. sounds like without the MIDI. Let's try that again. Twenty sixteen. <laughs> Ready.
played this on a, even on a Genesis in years. Oh my god. Kicking my ass. <laughs> uh, let's try this. I think this is one of the games where you don't need to uh, hold that key. So, we could turn this off. This is just MIDI goodness right here.
only issue I have with this emulator, with the MIDI emulator, is that it doesn't do the other MIDI uh, devices, just the MT32. It would be cool if they had like a all-in-one solution, but as far as I know, the SC55 is not emulated yet. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's try. What was I going to try? Oh, yeah. How could I forget?
games Kurgis out.